Alright, hello guys, how's it going? I know this is hard to believe, but we have an upcoming major snowstorm coming up. It's very, very warm along the east coast, so you probably find it very hard to believe, but things are going to cool back down, and we actually are going to see a winter storm for somewhere in the northeastern United States. Now, before I get started with this video, though, I would ask that you do subscribe if you do like weather-related content, and also make sure to share this video with your friends, family, and social medias. For today's comment of the day... I want to know, do you think aliens exist? Yes or no, and tell me why you think what you think. All right, let's get right into things. So first things first, we're looking at our current modeled storm track projection. So this is based on the models, not on my own forecast here. And we can see that in this light blue area, we're expecting snow slash mix. This is basically an area where I'm expecting we will at least see some flakes. Let's go ahead and add our green region to the south. And this is where we'll probably see all rain. Uh, obviously, to the south of there in areas like South Carolina and Georgia, obviously we'll see all rain. But areas further north uh, might not be so obvious. But this is the area that I'm expecting the rain snow line to cut off there where the blue and the green are separated. And then for this darker blue region, this here is where I'm expecting the heaviest impacts as far as snowfall to occur from central Pennsylvania all the way up through portions of upstate New York into New England, southern Vermont, southern New Hampshire, areas like Boston also included, and then coastal Maine. This is an area where I'm expecting the most snowfall to basically occur with this system. This could be updated. Be on the lookout for future uploads on this one, as we will be probably making some more over the next couple of days. All right, now we're about to move on and take a look at our simulated radar, and we're going to take it hour by hour and just show you guys what conditions are expected and when. All right, so our first hour here is going to be, eh, I would say this is about Sunday at about 8 p.m. So we're still a few days away, so lots of time to update this video. I think I'll probably be making one or two more videos on this, including an upcoming snowfall forecast for this for this snowstorm. So be on the lookout for that as well. Uh, we're still 72 hours away from the beginning of this storm. But you can see at this point at about 8 p.m. on Sunday, we have some rain showers around for Ohio, Tennessee, and Kentucky, as well as some for Virginia and North Carolina, especially coastal regions. But really nothing has come together by this point. But as we move on towards about 2 a.m. on Monday, March 23rd, you can see that we do start to see some snowfall occurring for Pennsylvania. Uh, we have a low pressure system over Kentucky there, but really we're going to see that transfer offshore uh, of Virginia and North Carolina, and that's when really things are going to start to come together, and that's going to allow for more cold air to come in behind it as well. And as you can see, by about 8, 8 a.m. on Monday, March 23rd, we do see that occur. We see that the low-pressure system is now located over Virginia and North Carolina. Lots of yellows and oranges. That could even be in the form of thunderstorms by this point. Uh, but we do see a lot of snowfall occurring for Maryland, Pennsylvania, upstate New York by this point, as well as New Jersey, maybe even New York City. So already getting off to a very, very snowy start. And some of these areas have hardly seen any snow so far this year. So very, very exciting to see some new areas getting snowfall. Now, we're about to move forward where we're really going to start to see the heavy snowfall move in, and it's going to be very interesting to see that occur, and it's going to start to accumulate very quickly as we move towards Monday afternoon as well. All right, so here it is. This is at about 2 p.m. on Monday, March 23rd, and we can see some of the darker blue showing up there for central Pennsylvania. That's where we're seeing some moderate to heavy snowfall occurring. Our low pressure system has hardly moved. It's over the Del Marva at this point, and we're seeing a lot of heavy precipitation uh, for a lot of regions here. Whether it's in the form of rain or snow, it is heavy. Uh, we're seeing northern New Jersey as well, seeing some moderate snowfall, even New York City, Connecticut, upstate New York, there are the Finger Lakes regions as well. This is an area that's really been neglected as far as snowfall this entire winter, and finally they might be getting some as we head towards Sunday, Monday, Tuesday time frame in late March. Very, very interesting stuff here. Uh, and then let's move towards about 8 p.m. that night. So this is going to be at about 8 p.m. on Monday, March 23rd. And we can see our low pressure system is moving and it's heading further and further north. Uh, we see the moderate snowfall has mostly moved into upstate New York, northern Connecticut, northern Rhode Island, most of Massachusetts as well, including Boston. So this could be a southern New England uh, snowstorm that leads to major accumulations for this area. We are going to be looking at our modeled total snowfall map as well. So be on the lookout for that as we head towards the end of the video. But as you can see, central Pennsylvania, a lot of upstate New York, and still Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, Vermont, and a bit of Maine as well getting included with this moderate snowfall. 
Now we're about to move on even further where we're going to see this low pressure system come very, very close to Cape Cod, Nantucket, and Martha's Vineyard. And that's when we're going to start to see some very, very major impacts for southern New England as well as up through coastal Maine as well. It's going to be very, very interesting to see how this model projects this one to play out. All right, so as you can see here, uh, we're at about 2 a.m. on Tuesday, March 23rd fourth that's going to be and then we see the low pressure system is again located near nantucket martha's vineyard and cape cod that's bringing very very heavy rainfall for a lot of those regions but as you head a little bit further north and inland we see northern rhode island northern connecticut and then most of massachusetts southern new hampshire and then coastal maine is receiving moderate to heavy snowfall from this one and still Portions of upstate New York getting moderate snowfall. This one could be a very, very major snowstorm. And actually, I'm eyeballing the possibility at some blizzard conditions for a few regions, especially coastal Maine and coastal Massachusetts. So we'll be on the lookout for possibilities for blizzard conditions. It's going to be very, very windy if this low pressure system is this close to the coast. Uh, so we're going to be watching for about maybe a 40 to 50% chance of that occurring here. So let's move towards... This is going to be about 8 a.m. on Tuesday, and you can see that things are really rapidly coming to an end. We see the snow holding on for coastal Ma Maine and then also coastal Massachusetts and a bit of Rhode Island as well, possibly having some mixing issues towards the end of the storm there for coastal Massachusetts, including Boston. Uh, but you've already seen a ton of snow snowfall during the beginning half of this storm already. Um, and then as we head towards about 2 p.m. on Tuesday, March 24th, it's all over and said and done. So we're going to look at our wind real quick as well, because I did mention the possibility for blizzard conditions. In those green shades, we're at about 20 to 30 knot winds. In the yellow, we're at about 30 to 40 knot winds. And in the reds, we're at 40 to 50 knot winds. And this is at about uh, 8 p.m. on Monday, so before things really get going. And then this one is going to be by about 2 a.m. on Tuesday. And this is when we are seeing some heavier snowfall for a lot of these regions. Um, and if this was to pan out, I don't think we would be quite seeing blizzard conditions, but if it does trend to the west, we could see that be a possibility later on in the, in the modeling forecast for this storm. We'll be tracking this one closely, uh, but in the greens and yellows, they're making their way onto Boston, definitely Cape Cod, Nantucket, Martha's Vineyard, though, indicating very, very heavy winds for a lot of regions. Now, we're about to move on and briefly take a look at our GFS, which has a little bit of a differing opinion, and then we're going to get into our total snowfall uh, projections from the models. All right, so here's your first frame on the GFS, 2 a.m. on Monday. You can see the storm is not quite here yet, but we are seeing some snow starting up for central Pennsylvania and a lot of greens for Ohio, Kentucky, Tennessee, North Carolina, Virginia, and even West Virginia there. Let's move on towards about 8 a.m. on Monday, and you can already tell the difference. Everything's a bit further north. We see northern Pennsylvania and upstate New York getting the beginning of the snow, even northern New Jersey there. Again, this is by about 8 a.m. on Monday. Let's move on towards about 8 p.m. on Monday, uh, and you can see that all the snow is basically exclusive for maybe the Adirondack Mountains, Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine, and it really isn't for the southern regions of those states at all. You can see greens for southern Vermont, southern New Hampshire, and coastal Maine, so this solution would have a much, much less snowy outlook, and then by the time we reach about 2 p.m. on Tuesday, this model also basically has everything set and done. Now let's look at that total snowfall forecast on both of these models individually. First off, here's your Canadian model, and you can see throughout central Pennsylvania, northern New Jersey, including New York City, uh, I would say southern upstate New York, and then in through Connecticut, portions of Massachusetts, and northern Rhode Island. All of us are expecting to see anywhere from 3 to about 10 inches of snow. The blue colors is where we're at about a dusting to 3 inches. The purples is where we're at about 3 to 6 inches. You can see purples are very widespread. And then even the pinks are widespread, and that's where we're looking at anywhere from 6 to 12 inches of snow. You can see lots of 8 inches and 9 inches there for central Pennsylvania, upstate New York, and even through portions of Massachusetts, Connecticut, Rhode Island, and New Jersey as well, actually. So... A uh, very interesting outlook, and this could be snowier or less snowy. We're just going to have to wait and see as we move forward. And then here's the GFS, which is obviously much further inland. Uh, we see, again, in the blues, a dusting to three inches of snow. Purples is three to six inches of snow. And pinks, which is only for the Adirondack Mountains, would be six to 12 inches of snow. So obviously the GFS has a lot less snow. The Canadian model has a lot more snow, and we're really just going to have to wait and see it in the coming days, which one's going to be right 
as we move on. And for your comment of the day yesterday, I asked you guys, if you had to eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? And Jake K said, I would eat either ramen or sushi for the rest of my life because they, I don't know how to describe it. They're just amazing. Uh, and then he said, by the way, love your videos. Thank you so much for the kind words. And I definitely agree. I love ramen and sushi and also pho. I love pho so much. Uh, I, I couldn't live without these foods. So I would have to agree that those would probably be the foods that I would choose uh, for the rest of my life if I had to. Anyway, guys, thank you so, so much for watching this video. Again, be sure to share it with your friends, family, and social media. And I will see you guys in the next video.